Hey guys, it's Jeff from Pressure Lock, and I guess I felt like a hat tip today for some reason. Anyway, even though it's the dead of summer, I feel like making a soup today. And it's one of my favorite soups. It's Italian, and it's called pasta fagiole. Now, a pasta fagiole is a bean-based soup, and it also combines some pancetta in there and pasta. And it makes this amazing, smoky, beany, wonderful pasta soup. You're going to absolutely love it if you love a soup. And it, it, I'm telling you right now, one of your favorites of all time it's going to be. So let's go right to the Instant Pot. I'm going to show you how easy it is to make pasta fagiole. So we're going to start by cooking our pasta. And I'm using a ditalini, which is basically like a mini ziti and cut in half, if you want to look at it like that, for our pasta fagiole soup. It's very common for a pasta fagiole. So add that to the pot. And then just cover with enough water. Add in a little bit of salt, and then just give everything a stir. Let's put our lid on the Instant Pot, make sure we're in sealing position. Come down here, hit manual or pressure cook, whatever button it is on your Instant Pot, depending on the model. And we're just going to go for four minutes. And while our pasta is cooking, let's take one medium yellow onion and dice it up. And let's follow with a quick release. So Jeff, why are you cooking the pasta in the Instant Pot instead of on the stove? Well, I'm going to tell you. Two reasons. The first being that it takes about half a time in the Instant Pot. The second reason being, because it's already about a thousand degrees outside, I don't feel like this room becoming even more of a sauna. That's one of the best things about the Instant Pot. It contains pretty much all the heat when it cooks right in the pot when the lid's on top of it. So that's exactly why I'm doing that. Not to mention, it also infuses flavor more and apparently it keeps nutrients within the food even more as well. So there's your answer for you. Convenience and comfort. And our pin just dropped, so let's take the lid off. And our pasta is perfectly cooked, so let's drain it. And there we go. And let's give our pasta a rinse with some cool water. And we're just going to let that sit here for the rest of the time while we finish cooking our soup. So let's get our liner pot back inside the Instant Pot. Let's add one tablespoon of salted butter. Let's hit saute and make sure we're on the more setting. And once our butter's been melted, let's add our onions. And let's stir them up for about a couple of minutes. And once our onions become a little bit translucent and slightly browned in color, just slightly, let's add five ounces of pancetta or about six slices of bacon that you just chop into pieces. And then stir that up as well. And after about two minutes of stirring and setting our onions and pancetta, we're going to add one 15 and a half ounce can of cannellini beans, and we're going to add the juices from the can as well in there. We're also going to add three cups of chicken broth, one eight ounce can of tomato sauce, and stir well. Top it off with two bay leaves. Secure the lid so it's in sealing position. And then let's hit manual, and we're just going to also keep this for another four minutes. That's it. Now while our soup is cooking, I'm going to take another can of cannellini beans and a can of stewed tomatoes, and I'm going to drain them. Right through a colander like that, and then add them on top of our drained pasta at the same time, because we're going to add them all together in the final step. And we're all set here, so let's do a quick release. Pin dropped, lit off. Soup. Done. All right, guys, time to have some fun. First, let's fish out our bay leaves and discard them. Add in a half a cup of Parmesan cheese that's grated. Stir it all in there. And now for the fun part. <laughs> Using an immersion blender, or you can transfer this all to its blender itself and do it that way, but an immersion blender is obviously so much easier. We're going to puree what we have in our pot right now. And perfect. Now we're going to add in our pasta, other beans, and stewed tomatoes. In you go. Let's stir everything up so everything's mixed together perfectly. And having mixed everything up together, look at how fantastic this pasta fagiole soup looks, guys. Oh, just exactly how I love it. Not too thin, not too thick, perfect. Oh, fantastic. So let's serve some of this deliciousness up into a bowl. There we go. And maybe sprinkle a little Parmesan on there. Perfect. Let's serve it up. My favorite part of the video, eating the food. All right, let's uh, let's see how we do here. Oh, look at this. <laughs> this is my favorite pasta visual soup. It's such a subjective soup. You know, there are so many ways to make this soup, but I'm telling you, I think this is the best way to do it. Mm. 
amazing ratio of beans to pasta to big chunky stewed tomatoes in there. Oh, the flavor is amazing. Pasta for you, pasta for me. You know what I'm saying? And I'm telling you, the magic in this is pureeing the first set of beans with the onions and pancetta along with the broth. It makes a world of difference for this soup. Oh, it's so wonderful and hearty and just creamy and rich and fabulous. Mm, an Italian wonderland right in my bowl. Guys, this soup is absolutely on another level. It's the ultimate bean and pasta soup, pasta fajoule. If you enjoy these videos, please go to PressureLuckCooking.com. I have tons more videos there, lots of little how-tos. Um, go to my Facebook page, Facebook.com slash PressureLuckCooking. Live content there, memes, photos. I'm always updating. You don't want to miss anything, guys. Oh, nothing but good recipes, only good stuff for you. I test things out. If they're awful, they don't make it to the page. Believe me, I don't want you guys making bad food or wasting money. Money on it. Thank you again so much for all your support and that's amore.